Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. Today I have a build for you guys that is not Righteous Fire. However, I will state that it is super scuffed right now. Um, so basically, I am trying my hands at Cold Dot Occultist. So I have a Mage Blood at the moment. Mage Blood is not mandatory for this build at all. The reason I'm using a Mage Blood is number one, I have one, and number two, it's just giving me easy access to Melding of the Flesh and uh, Righteous Fire, which we'll talk about in a later section of the character. Uh, so yeah, basically, I am trying my hands at Creeping Frost. So um, of your Cold Dot skills, I think you primarily have four you can pick from, and you're going to use a conjunction of two or three of them together. So you've got Wintertide Brand, Creeping Frost, Cold Snap, and Vortex. Right now, this character is heavily unfinished. Like, nothing about it is unfinished. I'm using, like, level 17 gems. Some of my gear is ridiculously expensive, and some of my gear is item level 13 from my leveling phase. So, heavily unfinished character right now. Uh, I just wanted to make a video to kind of show you guys before I, you know, make another video and say, Hey guys, I'm level 98 on my journey to level 100, right? So, I'm just going to run a tier 16 map. We're going to do literally the definition of zero DPS. But I just want to kind of show you guys the mechanics and how it works. So, let's just go jump in. We are level 79 currently. I have a lot of plans for this character, a lot of cool things that we're going to be running. Um, so yeah, so to get started, again, we're currently 90 all res, we're low life with our shavs, we run Righteous Fire for a spell damage multiplier, we get another spell damage multiplier on Pain Attunement, we're going to have 7 power charges AoE stacking, and soon uh, I'm going to get a Keystone from Legion, I think it's called Inner Conviction. It makes my power charges also give 3% more spell damage. So that's pretty much the character. Um, with that being said, it feels like a slower version of Righteous Fire that is as tanky but a lot more expensive. I think it's more beginner friendly because mobs are a lot slower, whereas Righteous Fire feels a lot more aggressive. Um, that being said, it's still fun, so let's go ahead and clear. So the general goal is you shoot... Oh, um, okay, I don't have Corrupted Blood Immune, I forgot about that. You basically shoot a Creeping Frost, and the Creeping Frost will go through and clear the targets. Now, at the moment, I forgot I was supposed to be using a Dying Sun because I actually dropped GMP, and the reason I, dro I dropped GMP, um, the reason I dropped GMP is I was reading the gem, and I didn't realize that you can only have 10 chilling areas at a time, which is kind of scuffed when you are casting kind of frequently so i was gonna use the dying sun and then i forgot I, I whispered like 10 people and they were like all gone so uh character also does not have stun immunity yet stun immunity is going to be a big hurdle to acquire my single target is currently non-existent. Um, we will get more single target later. Also, where's my... Uh, there we go. I also need to get more armor on the character. The character only has 26k right now. But we'll get a lot, to be fair. When we level up our determination, it's like 17 and then when we grab our armor nodes right here yeah, so here's an example currently of the zero single target this will go up massively with gem level and proper scaling and awakened gems and proper scaling and uh inner conviction so there is you know a monu a, a weapon that's worth more than like two chaos so there's a lot um, one of the other things I have on right now, and I don't know if I really like this, it's an interaction with Snake Pit. So I use Snake Pit in my left ring to make my projectile fork. And basically what happens is, is like I aim it at a target, it hits the target, and then it like ricochets randomly like you saw it shot all the way over here. The reason why I think this is good with uh, multi-prod, so as an example, Dying Sun, is it gives you like a weird form of clear that allows your spell to like cover majority of the screen it normally could not cover and that's really good with creeping frost because it will start to creep if you see it moving here it's moving like towards down here and 
now they're dead right of course you know when it does more damage it'll feel much better but essentially that actually may have been the vortex the whole point of creeping frost with this setup is for it to like creep towards its targets here see how it's like kind of moving around um so yeah that that's pretty much it sadly we are completely limited with our um with our creeping frost travel speed i have like completely with the exception of using enhance entirely max speed so i have a rhyme gaze that i completely need to replace with creeping frost chilling area speed and then i also have the phantasmal creeping frost level well it's only 18 right now um but i have it 20 percent quality with an ashes for 29 percent quality it's not moving crazy fast but if you see here like it should be able to so there you go move there doesn't do enough damage to kill this guy but it's getting the job done it just needs more damage once it gets more damage it should feel much better oh and like an actual dying sun the dying sun will help massively as well Yeah, so that's pretty much the character right now. Uh, we're going to be leveling this for probably the next couple of days. I really want to see if I can make this character, like, enjoyable for me. Um, you know, I don't want to feel like Mage Blood is just entirely carrying my build. But at the moment, it definitely might be. But don't tell anybody. So anyway, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Um, if you guys like the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Like I said before, we're going to be leveling this character over the next few days and kind of discovering cold dot. Um, because another option is, I mean, I'm going through all this work to make creeping frost work. I could potentially just come over here and grab like runesmith and go wintertide brand. But, you know, we'll see if that's actually what we want to do. I also just realized this is kind of nuts. Um... I think this is considered it is i could actually save a point with my thread of hope here because my thread of hope is getting divine shield glancing blows i get thread of hope rune binder oh no that doesn't matter because i have to go here for runesmith anyway it's early morning anyway catch you guys all later thanks for watching